Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're looking at our integrated display here, and today we're gonna to show you the tire pressure monitoring system. So on our integrated display, we touch what looks like the uh, chassis, base of the chassis, and then what appears is the inclimiter and the tire pressure monitoring. Just a recap on the inclimiter, which I've got installed here, and it's all digital, it's all on the can. And as I move that, you can see the vehicle change. If I put it horizontal, you see exactly what it is, and that's for the airbag control here in the rear. Uh, and then the tyre pressure monitoring here. So right now I've got it on my car outside on the first tyre, 240 kPa. Yes, we can make that PSI, but it's in kPa at the moment, and that's 34.8 uh, PSI. 26C here for the temperature of the tyre, probably as important as the tyre pressure. But let's have a look at the senders. So for a start, that's the receiver. It's completely IP68. It can be fitted underneath the vehicle, screwed up. That's the antenna. Um, these are the sensors, so I've got six here all numbered. Here's the first one, and uh, this can be taken apart, so that's the size of it there, and it's taken apart with this little tool here. Um, this sort of locks in on one side, and then the other serrations here lock on the other. You twist it, otherwise it's incredibly tight. There's the battery in the top of the unit, and uh, that's good for two to three years. That goes into the top of the valve stem. And uh, we priced these at an incredibly attractive price. These are $18.50 including. And so if you lose that, then uh, it can be replaced. We send out to you uh, a little tool to read the new one and load it into the system. Right. And tape ties you just unscrew and put into the spare quite easy. So probably if you ordered these, you'd order at least uh, one spare. And, uh, and then you'd keep that in your glove box and uh, that can be uh, fitted up at any time. Um, and so what we have in here then is the alarm functionality that the user can set and it can also be rate of pressure change. So uh, what you've got to watch for, is it a slow leak or a fast leak? And we're able to detect that and have two entirely different alarms that flash up on the screen. And so uh, that's invaluable. And also on the tire pressure, the temperature, as you know, if it's getting way, way too hot, on the tire pressure, the same thing's happening to your shocks. And so you'll need to deflate the tire pressure uh, quite rapidly and, um, and uh, change it. So uh, these here, we're just reading the temperatures at the moment and the others we're reading um, outside there, we're reading the actual uh, tire pressure. And I have to say, how good's that? 